Hi there folks, welcome back to my channel for this video. I've come back into the city of Edinburgh and I've come up to Chamber Street, which is not really that far a walk from um, High Street. And I'm going to be going to the National Museum of Scotland, which is one of uh, the biggest museums in Scotland. It uh, has different galleries looking at uh, the history of Scotland. I think I've actually got a gallery dedicated to that. And we've got different artifacts from all over the world. So, a really interesting place to, to come and visit. And yeah, you can tell I'm the, the centre of Edinburgh. It's kind of fairly noisy outside. Uh, but the National Museum of Scotland is free entry. Uh, so, again, great place to visit when you're in Edinburgh. So we'll be heading around in a moment just to go into the museum itself. If you are enjoying my t channel, if you're enjoying my videos, I then mean click on the subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channelscoffee.com page, the, pay the PayPal account and the TikTok account in the description bar below and the pinned comment in the comment section. So with that out of the road, on to the main part of the video. Well, it was a fairly soggy day when I was leaving Glasgow. Uh, very dreary, as we would say here in Scotland. But as it got closer to Edinburgh, uh, the weather did dry up and it is now relatively sunny and dry, but still fairly cold. So this is just outside the National Museum of Scotland. Quite a grand Victorian building, that's for sure. And the entrance is just over in that corner there. So that's where I'm going to be heading. This is free admission and it's open daily. So, we enter the main bit of the museums up here. And we have a wee restaurant down here as well, if you're getting a bit peckish. And if I'm not mistaken, these are Maori. Yeah, the one on the left definitely is Maori. Looks like a war club. So this is uh, the main central bit of the museum. Which leads you off into all the different galleries. And I think this is a, an elk, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, do remember this is a very large building. There's over multiple levels. So it's fairly easy to get lost in this place. I think the first time I came here myself, I also managed to get lost in the, the Scottish section of the museum. And it was just me trying to run around, trying to find a way back out. Uh, and the main kind of uh, 
concourse outside. So we do have uh, maps that you can use for navigating your way around the building, like we can like paper maps. So if you are visiting, there might be an, an idea to how to pick one of them up and use that to navigate your way around the building itself. But sometimes I think the fun part is getting lost and finding things that you probably wouldn't have found otherwise. They have an entire wing of a building dedicated to the Kingdom of the Scots. So it's look at Scottish history, Scottish archaeology, and each floor looks at different periods. So we've got the basement level, so it's uh, prehistory, through to the Renaissance, into the early medi into the early modern periods, into the industrial periods, and right up to the present day. I'm going to try and get into that a wee bit later on. So I'm going to try to head back through this way because there's uh, some other levels that I haven't seen yet. And an even better view of the I main entrance area of the museum. And they also put on a number of uh, exhibitions, like temporary exhibitions, that you have to pay an entrance fee to. This time they're doing one on Doctor Who. Uh, I, they have previously done one on the Vikings and on other, other topics. So it's just in that wee exhibition hall in there that they have and a few exhibitions. And this here is a quote from Declaration of Abroth. It was signed in Abroth Abbey back in 1320. This here is a relic boy that have held relics. That's the statue of St Andrew, who is the painter of Scotland. Right, and this here is carved pixie stone mm -hmm. 
and this here is called the Maiden and it's a form of guillotine and it's not as big as the one that they've had in France I think there have probably been quite a few of these around the country so it's just a form of execution where the blade would have been pulled up there somebody's head would have been put in through the slat there the blade would have been let go and it would have come crashing down and this is a replica of Mary Queen of Scots' tomb which is actually down in Westminster and you can see how intricate it is So I found my way down to the gallery that deals with the prehistory and the Romans the Vikings. So what's this? So we've got this area in here. If I know that area in there as well, so I'll probably go in there in a minute. So we've got all this archaeology. So a wealth of archaeology in here. Oh, I think that actually looks like it might be a replica of a broch over there. Try and find my way in there, I think. Can see a way in. Oh yeah, that's an or that's the Orkney Hood. Not way in. Now we're gonna have to head back up this way then. Yeah, it's not a replica of a broch. They've just built some dividing walls using slate, which is quite a common material in Scotland. So you can see quite close here. That's what it's made from. Oh, that's a bit of a happy accident. Just came around the corner. Found there's this display, there's about three display cabinets filled with the remains of a silver hoard. And it just happened to be in the silver hoard that was found at Traprain Law. Which is a hell I tried to claim over in the Lothians. Which I will have to go back and conquer it someday. But this is, this is the silver that was found there. Never thought I'd actually ever get to see that hoard. Here it is. And you can see it when the plates actually has the face of a Roman Emperor on it. And there's the last few bits of it. Yeah, I do have to admit to the fact that I had a Stephen Grant moment when I, felt when I came across the, the trip for the law uh, silver hoard. And yeah, despite the couple of just geeking out over the fact that. Uh, this is the hoard that was found at one of the locations that I've already visited. So that made me happy. But then it is, I'm wearing a Moon, moon Knight t-shirt. Is someone trying to tell me something? Well, that's me finished my visit to the National Museum of Scotland on Chambers Street in Edinburgh. And it is one of those places that you could probably spend the whole day exploring and still have things that you haven't yet found. It's, just a, it's a sprawling warren of history, culture, archaeology, everything like that. So if you are in Edinburgh and you are wanting to have somewhere to explore, somewhere to maybe learn about the history of Scotland, see artefacts from all over the world, definitely get yourself to the National Museum. Definitely somewhere that's always worth visiting, especially if it's cold, wet, dreek day. You can easily spend all day in there. Uh, explore the museum, have something to eat, put your feet up, relax, and just enjoy yourself. 
but I'll have to head off. And the rain is started again. So it's gonna be fun. But hopefully you will have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you'll find National Museum interesting and intriguing. And when you are in Edinburgh, definitely get yourself along and have a wee explore. So I'll uh, sign off just now and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.